In this video, we will find out the reciprocal lattice associated with a body-centered cubic lattice. The conventional unit cell of a body-centered cubic unit cell is shown here. It has lattice points at eight corners as well as one at the body center. Because it has lattice point at the body center as well, it qualifies as a non-primitive unit cell. A primitive unit cell should not have lattice point anywhere else other than the corners. And because it becomes a non-primitive unit cell, this is not suitable for determination of the reciprocal lattice because reciprocal lattice definition requires the use of primitive unit cell. So we need a primitive unit cell for this and this we have found in another video the link for which is found in the description below. We will just give you the final results we obtained there. So the primitive basis vector of a BCC lattice can be found by joining the center point, the body center point to three appropriate corners, appropriately chosen corners of the BCC unit cell. So these are A1, A2 and A3 as shown here. And if you express them in the unit vectors E1, E2, E3 along the edges of the cube, you find A1 as A by 2 minus E1 plus E2 plus E3. A2, similar expressions for A2 and A3. You can see that these expressions are nice and symmetric in the sense that for A1, E1 is negative, for A2, E2 is negative, and for A3, E3 is negative. And if we complete the unit cell, we find the volume of this unit cell as A cube by 2. Note that in all these expressions, A is the edge length. A is the edge length of the unit. A is the edge length of the unit cell, the conventional unit cell. So now we have all these ingredients, A1, A2, A3, the primitive basis vector and the volume of the primitive unit cell. So we now have the three primitive basis vectors and the volume of the primitive unit cell. These are the ingredients required for constructing the reciprocal lattice vector because they are defined in terms of these three vectors. So A1 star is A2 cross A3 by Vp and similar expressions are there for A2 star and A3 star. And you can see that these reciprocal basis vectors are defined in terms of the primitive unit cell vectors A2 and A3 here and A1. These are primitive unit cell vector and that's why there was need to find the primitive unit cell of the original BCC conventional unit cell. So now we have all these ingredients and we have the formula for calculating the reciprocal basis vector. All you have to do is to substitute these expressions in this formula and do the calculation. So A1 is star, so 1 by Vp is 2 by A cube from the Vp expression and then I have simply substituted for A2 and A3 from the expressions which we have. Pause the video here and take a minute or two to expand this and calculate the cross product to simplify A1 star. If you do this, you will find the final expression is very simple, 1 by A E2 plus E3. So thus, the reciprocal basis vector, the first reciprocal basis vector A1 star is nothing but 1 by A E2 plus E3. Similarly, A2 star is 1 by A E1 plus E3 and A3 star is 1 by A E1 plus E3. We can see again that this is a nice symmetric form in the sense that in A1, E1 is missing, in A2, 
e2 is missing and in a3 e3 is missing so we have calculated the reciprocal basis vector but one more step of interpretation is required that what kind of unit cell these primitive basis vectors are forming what kind of lattice they will give us so to do this we have to see the primitive unit cell of a related lattice the face centered cubic lattice this was also worked out in another video the link for which i have provided in the description below there we found that the primitive unit cell vector of an fcc lattice are a1 is equal to a by 2 e2 plus e3 a2 is a by 2 e1 plus e3 and a3 is a by 2 e1 plus e2 you can see that these are appearing somewhat similar to the reciprocal lattice vectors which we have found so let us compare the two so the primitive basis vector for fcc lattice is a by 2 e2 plus e3 whereas the primitive base the vector of the reciprocal lattice is 1 by a e2 plus e3 so you can see e2 plus e3 is common so the vector a1 and a1 star are in the same direction only their lengths are different because the multiplying factors are different here the multiplying factor is a by 2 here the multiplying factor is 1 by a so this means that our reciprocal basis vectors of bcc lattice are along the primitive basis vector of the fcc lattice and not only that if if we now look at this scale factor 1 by a we can write it as half into 2 by a and then defining 2 by a as a star we can write it as a star by 2 e2 plus e3 now these two expressions are exactly equivalent just the mm, fcc lattice has a the reciprocal bcc lattice has a star and we know that the primitive basis vector of fcc lattice this a was the lattice parameter of the fcc unit cell so this means our a1 star a2 star and a3 star are also constructing an fcc lattice with the lattice parameter now a star which is 2 by a that completes the interpretation determination and interpretation of the reciprocal basis vectors of a bcc lattice so in the final conclusion we have that the original bcc lattice was having a lattice parameter a the reciprocal lattice of that becomes an fcc with lattice parameter 2 by a thank you